All right, guys, welcome back. So it's 929. The market's about to open in 20 seconds. And Apple yesterday and overnight just ripped up. It's at 478 a share right now. So I did pretty well yesterday in scalping um, two contracts. So I'm going to see what there is today. I'm not going to jump in this thing right off the rip. Um, I want to see what happens. The market just opened. So let me reload this and see what we have today. I'm not going to rush to get in anything. But these uh, August 21st contracts are cheap because they expire today. And... There's the open. So we're at 478. I just want to give it a couple minutes and see what happens. Even the spy yesterday, everything shot up off the rip and just um continued an uptrend yesterday. Yesterday was a was a really bullish day. So I just want to look at the spy really quick. Alright, so here's the one minute on the left and my five minute chart on the right. Man, this thing's going to hit $500 before the split, I think. At the end of the month, this thing's doing a four to one split. I just want to give this thing at least a couple five minute candles just to see what is going on. It's hard to buy so close. Yesterday I did because it, the momentum up was so strong and I just wanted to get a scalp in. But I missed a big move yesterday, but it's okay. I'm fine with, with the $35 I made yesterday. Um, <clears throat> My daily goal is still 25 bucks. Show the extended hours. Four seventy nine. Here's these four eighty calls. So for moving averages, here's the 200, the 50, the VWAP, and the 9 moving average. So I don't know if this thing's going to want to pull back. I have the level 2 up on my phone, but I have a hard time really reading the, really reading the level 2. There's people wanting to sell at 479.60 a, a thousand shares. So this thing's definitely not moving like it was yesterday. But look at the first five minute candle. It opened down here 477, already almost two dollars. Eighty. So 
So I have my buying power is like 780. I just round it off to the whole dollar. Um, so like these contracts are 175 right now for the ask. It's so far, I, it's hard to use the indicators for anything because it's so far above all the indicators. But here's the next candle. I want to see what, I mean, this thing could pull back. I don't know what kind of strategy I'd want to use today. There's a break of the VWAP that's all done for. This is like pre candle high breakouts or something. There it goes. Do I want to just hop in this thing now for a scalp? Well, let's let this next one minute candle play out and see what, what the other one opens at. I don't want to miss it and get in too high. 750. It's already too expensive for four contracts. Let's see if I can get four in right here. No, I missed that. I have. Eighty nine cancel dollar ninety four seeds fighting right here. See, it's too expensive now. Two oh four, man, these things go up really fast. I would need this thing to pull back. Man, this would be a perfect. Two oh eight. Dollar Pull back. If I could bounce off of that, the five minute chart still looks good though. See right here, I'd like to see this bounce. See, 
if I can get in right there. Oh, I am in. Oh, market. I'm selling right there. And that's my quick scalp, a bounce off of the nine moving average. <clears throat> right here, I got in right as this candle uh, opened and turned green. And just for a little push up, the scalp. Um, four contracts, it was a 485 call. And I am out, let's see what my profit is. $51.20. So it's another good day. Fifty dollars is double my. Um, I still have one sixty one, but I don't. I don't know if I'm gonna make another trade. Double my daily goal, and that was a twenty second trade. I bought four contracts at a dollar fifty six limit, and I got filled right at the dollar fifty six. And then a dollar sixty nine is what I sold them at um twenty seconds later, so I broke my eight hundred dollar goal for the day for my account I'm at eight thirty seven thirty eight I mean at this point, I have one sixty left in settled cash. Do I want to risk it? Not really, because now look. So I just bought in on that. Aqua, I'm not really too familiar with. I just know that it's at all time high. There's big news on it because the split's coming up. And I think a lot of people want to see this thing hit $500. So. Yesterday with the push up, I figured today would have good momentum. It's already in an uptrend. 160. I mean, I wouldn't get that far out. And the implied volatility on these is like 40%. Look at the SPY. So if you were to look at a call option right above, right out of the money, the implied volatility is 14%. And that is um, the percentage, that basically means what people think that the volatility, that how much the stock's going to move in the future is this percentage right here. It's, I don't know how they really figure that. Man, look at this. But the higher the implied volatility, the um, more they think the stock's going to move. And I think that has something to do with the premium price. Man, look at this. I would want these premiums to be closer, the um, spread. Because if you buy here and then the spread's at 80 and you buy 93, then you have to wait for this to push up past 93. Because I buy on a limit and sell at a market. But look at the $500 call for uh, August 28th. Look at the volume on this. $500 call for August 28th. 7,203. Look at the open all the orders. 34,000. 
Look at the numbers around it. Because people are expecting $500 by the end of the month. Man, look at these pushes. Pushes up. Dollar seventeen. Maybe I can get another quick scalp in. do that it's one contract it's another quick scalp I think or maybe I broke even 53.98 was I at before oh no I made a couple Four ninety call dollar 22 dollar 25 so that's another three dollars <throat> minus whatever the fees were so now I'm done I'll take that all day yeah sell cash so 840 so two winning trades um So let's call it a $54 day, a great day to end the week. And I'm going to be back at it on Monday. Let's see what I'm up for the week. So I'm up $57 for the week, which for me is good on my small account. So we're up uh, $240 for the, for the month, $191. And I think all time. Man, look how good I've been doing with options. These are all stocks. This was luck. This D DPW uh, trade. 2731. That was a pre-market trade that I just happened to buy into. And it shot up and I sold it. But look at these um, options. I'm up. Almost 200 bucks on options with a small account. <clears throat> so that's going to be it for today, guys. Man, look at this thing. It's just freaking ripping. I, I hope that all you guys are making good profits if you guys are doing the same thing as me. I hope all you guys are doing good and making good profits with this good momentum. And um, now I have to go cut my grass. So that's going to be it for today, and uh, I'll see you guys on Monday.